Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. <laughs> you guys remember that? I used to do that. Uh, <laughs> we are back here with our St. Louis Blues franchise mode. That's a throwback for all the OGs here when I used to have an actual intro. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, we're here at the trade deadline, and uh, we've had a pretty decent season. You know, it's a good bounce back. We've we've turned things around here in St. Louis, and hopefully, or we're it's just all up from here, right? We're 33, 23, and six. Production wise, has been pretty good. It's Thomas and Kairu leading the way. Some of our younger guys still trying to figure things out, such as Shirakov. He picked up some more X-Factors. He's got Silver 1T, Beauty Backhand, and Born Leader. Hasn't gained a zone ability, but I'm sure he's going to do that this offseason. Or one of those silvers will turn into a gold, and he might gain another silver as well. So very, very excited about that. He's developing nicely. Again, stats could be better. But he's, again, 19 years old. He's got plenty of time to figure things out. Darling's doing... I mean, they pretty much have identical stats, yeah. Pretty, pretty much. So, we have an injury right now. Neighbors is out. Doshtal is out. Two injuries right now. We have had injuries this season. It could end up costing us a playoff spot. We are... Hanging in there. We do have the top wildcard spot, but the team behind us has three games in hand. Fortunately, it looks like we should... We only have to worry about our division. Um, Wild, if they won both of the games that they have in hand, would be two points behind us. So we, we can't really afford to, to slip or slow down here. Which leads us to the trade deadline and ideas that I was thinking of ideas that you guys were pitching and one of them is to move marchment i am i was currently want considering using him as like a self rental just play the year out with him he could play on literally any of our four lines and with that shutdown x factor in the playoffs could provide some bit of shutdown which uh we will probably need tucker's is a beast i can't believe he hasn't gained an x factor yet he should over the off season. Um, but he hasn't yet, which is a little bit weird, but he's 87 overall at 20. He's, he's going to be great. Dickinson, he's like still morale down, keeps getting injured as well. We do have him extended. It is a shorter term extension. Tucker, on the other hand, is going to get a long term extension. Uh, pretty much at the end, well, in the next off season, we're going to lock him in immediately because he is the real deal. We're hoping Dickinson can still be something quite good. And there was some talk from you guys about packaging him with some other assets for like a true number two left defense. And I agree. I definitely agree with that possibility, but I don't think that's a deadline move. Uh, this, is, this is more of an off season, early season move here. I'm trying, and I, and I still want to give him the full ability to bounce back because he's, again, his overall morale is still less than 50%. Like, it's, it's we're just trying to get him to bounce back. It's been a bit tough, not gonna lie. But yeah, that, that kind of move is, uh, is an off-season move, either for this coming season or the next one, depending on how we want to run it, what's available, what we think we can pursue, and what other guys are going to be coming up. Speaking of which, we're still got a few on the way. Uh, Saprikin, this guy could e essentially turn into a top two. If he develops, you know, very well, very quickly, he can change potentials. Like there's, it, there's no guarantee. Like you draft someone as a, as a, as a medium top four, like they can absolutely change potential and become something even better. That's, that's a beautiful thing about this game. It's, you know, it's obviously not a guarantee and, and not as likely as just drafting someone with good potential, but with where we picked this guy. Or where he was projected, I will say. I do have high hopes for him. Kaltiainen, I think his ceiling at this point would be top four max if he gets there. But I did want to check out what was going on here because it may dictate 
So, Farmer now lists it as fourth line. Stimbity, yeah. Uh, Varlamov still lists it as a minor scorer, which is good. He's got 38 points in 49 games played. Nothing tremendous. But Stenbury and uh, Farmer have been crushing it together. But the, I, the uh, my idea was hold on to March Mint because he's good for the playoffs. But there is the uh, is the argument to be made that we should we should prioritize getting younger guys in, not trying to like go as far as we can in the playoffs. Like, not completely, we're not a seller anymore, but we could sell a piece to make room. And perhaps Farmer, as great as it would be, you know, have another great season. And maybe even another shot at the Calder Cup. We would still have that even without him. Uh, we still have Jano. <laughs> still got Jano. We could call up Farmer Trade Marchment. So I will explore that. I'll do my due diligence. I'll do what a good GM should do here in this situation is that... I mean, we can, again, we can pick up Marchment in the offseason if we want to. When we're a little bit better. Right? So let's see here. Let's throw him in. Let's see what teams want him, what we could get for him. The Bruins want him. They have tons of cap space. We wouldn't even have to retain. But I kind of would wa want to retain simply because it would get us a better pick. Or, a, yeah, better something. It's going to have to be from, like, a true buyer such as, well, Carolina bounced back quick. Even with 50% retention, I don't know if they go for that. And if I, honestly, if I can't get, like, a late first... For Marchment, then it, to me it's not worth it. I'm not gonna be able to get an early second because those kind of teams don't have use for March Marchment. So this would be the kind of trade that I would make. And there's no way I could like pick up another AHL depth piece. I don't think in this unless they have. What hell's this? Two-way center with crappy face-offs. He's not built poorly. Playmaker. I think you're getting into too good of uh, players around here. Ooh. Center slash right wing, but he's definitely a winger. Good God, he's good defensively. I'd pick him up. I don't think they go for this. <laughs> I'll try it, but I doubt it. No. Nah. I do really like this guy, though. 21, 76 overall with killer defensive stats. And yet another right winger, which we kind of needed. But we're not getting that unless we throw in another asset, which is not exactly what I wanted to do in this situation. We don't have a second. So a second would be okay, but again, the type of second that we'd get wouldn't be great. Hmm. don't really have anything expendable here we added an incredible draft last season we don't do we have any garbage left i don't think we do i think we traded it all and indeed we did i've got some, yeah like albaline you could maybe i don't think we're ready to make the argument to move him yet these are all guys you could be thrown into other deals to to make them go across if we don't like them right Yeah, I want to keep my threes. Hmm. Well, we could in this deal, instead of the first, the seconds aren't going to be worth a heck of a lot. I know that we don't have a second. But I would be willing to fill out some of the rest of my stuff. Second, a third, and like a seven. I'd be willing to get like quantity. Just to be able to pick up this guy. Because I think he could be very serviceable as a defensive player. I mean, look at him. 
He's got you know, his puck skills are non-existent, but his defense is outstanding. He can't take faceoffs, which you know limits him as a C slash right wing, but he's at least got the slash right wing, which means that's where he's gonna play. He's pretty sick. Now that value looks pretty damn good, especially with the retention. If we can't get the first, the second's not going to be great, but we could combine that with something else probably. And we're going to be picking up three picks, so that'll max us out on picks for this year. And then we could still, in some way, maybe move up into uh, an earlier second. We will have our own first, which will be mid-late. This could be good. Um, I'm going to add something else in just because I don't want to get completely screwed. I don't think I'm going to, but I just want to make sure they're not ripping me off. I right, know. Let's remove that three. See what they say to this. A two, three, and a seven. That would work. Okay. I'm going to cheese it then. It's it's pretty good, especially as we're using him fourth line. Again, all I was going to use him for is a self-rental. And we can call up Farmer. Yeah. He is ready for fourth line. I'll probably throw him third line. Move down. To, moving down, Dvorsky kind of sucks. He does have high top six now, but he hasn't really been growing this year. So, hey -o. Um, I wasn't going to get a three. I'll just see if I can grab something else. If I can't, I can't. Might not be able to, but that's okay. That means I hit the nail on the head. Even, I don't even think we're getting another seven. They don't have another seven. <laughs> Did I try, I tried the six, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'll just take, I could, yeah, I don't know. I'll try it from, like, a year after, but it's not on the block, so it probably won't. No. But we know this goes through, so a second, a third, and a seven, plus this prospect guy for Marchment. Not too bad. It's not a great second. But it's something. Again, I'm not super happy. But we do get another pretty solid guy who's on the cusp of becoming an NHLer, and that's the thing I'm most excited about. He's still young enough to be able to get boosted into that role. He's insanely good defensively. So yeah, we're essentially getting what we hope to be a bottom six guy. A second, a third, seven. Not too bad. It's it's not too bad. Again, I, I really, really would have preferred a first, but that is just not on the menu if I wanted to also get this guy. So, let's just go for it. This doesn't have to call up Bluger. I mean, I could. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna call up Farmer. He's ready for NHL, so I think I want to throw him in there. Oh, yeah. Let's actually call him up. So, yeah, I call up Bluger, but I think we call up Farmer. Now, he has been crushing it. But I think we throw him on that third or fourth line. Maybe third line because he's coming in in like the deadline. Just hand over some opportunities to the young guys. I don't think we're winning the cup this year. So like, you know, when we get bounced, we can, we can send guys back down <laughs> if we want to. Mostly Farmer. Yeah, let's call it Farmer. Uh, Let's actually see if that other guy was up in the... Yeah, he was... He got put up here. Let's send him down. Why is it only saying 19 now? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't make sense in my head. Yeah, see, Dvorsky got up to that high six, and I, I do want him to grow, but... Dude. <laughs> Lots of morale because of individual performance. He hasn't been performing to a third line standard. So, I'm going to throw in Farmer. They still have a plus one there. 
He it would it would be a plus one if he started on the fourth line though. But I kind of want to get in third line time. Playing with Ott. Mmm, it's tough. It is tough. Um, power play. What got moved? Oh, it's putting in farm here. Yeah, whatever. Four man. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter. Whatever. So, yeah. I think we could try that. We could always mix it up. Yeah, I got enough guys here. Neighbors comes back. It's Shen. I must have not been counting injury, injured guys. Yeah, I must uh, must have not been counting injured guys. When it, when it just showed me the number, because it was really weird. Uh, yeah, for here, could just throw in that one dude. I probably will. I really want him to grow. He's not amazing offensively. He's not bad. But hey, he could be that extra four checker. Pardon? Oh. No, not Chano. Okay, they still have some chemistry. I was a little worried about that. But they do have a plus one still. Four man, no one cares. Alright, we'll do that. Eh, yeah, Misa. Don't know if you're making it. <laughs> He's kind of very far back in line when it comes to centerman. He and his brother have been a little slow on the growth, but at least Misa is absolutely crushing it with his points. He's like, he's producing. Can't really hate that. He should get another jump, but you know, he's been a little slow on the uptake when it comes to growth. Well, he can be a 2C, man. We have, we have Robert Thomas. Okay, that is going to be the trade. Again, I don't think I'm... I'm, may, I'm not acquiring any rentals. That's not the kind of team we are. Again, we can still miss the fucking playoffs. So that is what I'm going to do. I think that's going to be it. I don't really foresee anything else. No, no, nothing, no other kind of trade makes sense to make right now. All the rest of the ideas are kind of off-season ideas. So... That's going to be it, I think, for our trade deadline. We have the max amount of picks. We have nine. We only have two in the first two rounds, but that is what it is. At least we acquired another second. We can still draft another one if we can acquire a pick in that first round. We'll see. Yep. But. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's, there's just nothing else that I can, can shed or want to shed. Everything else is either still interesting to me or giving it a longer chance. Maybe a belt Chowser is like the one you could move, but why move him right now when we could use him to trade up, right? <laughs> or trade to acquire something. It just doesn't make sense. So that's going to be it for this deadline. Those are our moves. We're still above the cap floor with that retention and the deadline shenanigans. Question is, will we hold on to the playoff spot? That is the big question. It's tough. We're missing our uh, fourth line presence. We're missing our starting goaltender. <laughs> it's a little, it could be a little rocky here, but we need we need to we need to we need to make it happen. We need to fight through that adversity. If we just miss the playoffs, it'll be unfortunate, but at least we know we are in the hunt. But we don't want to drop out when we're where we are. That's for damn sure. But hopefully, we don't. Uh, Valeno and Zub goes to Boston for a first, second, and Noreen. Okay. Uh, to the R Rangers get Berkeley, Catton, and Matt Benning. What the fuck you trading Catton for? He's literally a prospect. Oh my god, what is, what is San, what San Jose even doing? They get a first, a, I don't even, whatever. <laughs> AI do not know how to rebuild. Chicago gets Mikey Anderson in a fourth for Barabanov. At least I think that's Mikey Anderson. Uh, Jesus, Calgary shed Wegar and Pitlick for a first, second, and a defenseman. Probably a prospect of some sort. Holy shit, dude, Detroit. They also moved Sprong to Boston for a first and a fourth. 
Holy crap. Uh, Chicago plays Declan. Okay, some guy. Don't need any players. Uh, Haskins is back. That's good. Let's get him back in. He would have been right here. Now listed as minor top four. But he's grown throughout the year, so good for him. I know we don't get chemistry with that, but... Yeah. Okay. Let's continue on here. Okay, we got points out of those at least. Okay, Neighbors is back. First step. Nearly back to full strength. How's Shen been doing as a depth piece? Six points in eight games and a plus eight. Let's fucking go. Neighbors is back in. Tough L. All right, let's do some scouting real quick. All right, continuing on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Losses. Taking L's. At least we have our goalie back, but yikes. Little nervous here. We're taking a lot of losses. Uh-oh. Hmm. Dostal being back is good. But man, oh man, we need some more scoring. 51 points. 44. Oh god. Okay, stop. We have to we have to make changes. We're holding on for dear life in the last wild card position. Now it's a five game losing streak. And we've only won one game since the deadline. Oh boy. What's farmer done since being here in the third? Three points in eight games, not bad. He's a plus two, at least. Seems Dvorsky. All right, move Lindstein down, get Ferraro up. Hag and Tucker seem to be doing well. Try to get Ferraro with Dickinson, see if that improves anything defensively, but it feels like it's our offense. Kind of struggling in the last little bit. Let me check. Pretty sure it is, yeah. Well, uh, not the last game. That's that's a rough one. You score three and you lose. Not that kind of team anymore. But yeah, one goal, four, two goals, four, three, two, yeah. Try to improve that defense a little bit with that move curious if I should try Shirikov back up on the top line Darling's losing morale I think oops oh gaining huh why is he down to an 83 We can try Shirakov on top line again. He's now a freaking 90. Like, if he can't get the job done, he's still this at a second line. I'll try him. I'll try I'll try this again. Don't know if that's the ticket. We'll try it for a few games. We need a win, though. Desperately. How many games left do we have? Not many. Let's say we try it for five games. Big win. Lost, damn, dude. We score four. Oh my goodness. Oh. Fortunately, we'll have the second wild card, but we are one point ahead of the wild. No games against them. And in those five games, we lost three. We scored more. Well, inconsistently so. Ah, uh, dude, this is so close. Seems like the first line got more points. Robert Thomas shot up there. 
Hmm. How's second line doing, though? 55 points and 75. Not amazing. Sherikov crushed it, I think. Just need defensively to lock it the hell down. Dostal, we really need some big games here at the end. Kind of got to slow sim it a little bit. <laughs> Do another three. Dude, get a point. Yes, need to that win. That's the goalie. I don't think he was out. He was a minor injury. I'm just double and triple checking everything. He's fine. Oh, man, you can't lose these games. We're out of the playoffs right now. We need to we need to win. Now we can't score. Shirkov's scoring more goals here. One point only for Misa. <sighs> Six points. And Ott hasn't done a hell of a lot. He's going back to the fourth. Bolduke's going up to the second. Six points and 17. He has a plus, though. That's a thing. We're going to leave that. It's the same chemistry. This maybe makes us better. Mm. Not a huge fan of that. But it keeps them with Misa. Maybe they would get better matchups right there. I'm going to try Dvorsky and Bolduke up on the second with Formington. Just try to shut things down in the top six a little more. Uh... I have no idea. I'll try this. Take it game by game here. Abs are a tough team, but we got to beat these teams. We want to make the playoffs. You got to win against teams like this. Back to back to end the season two sucks. Oh man, we get a point, but we're now three points behind. We have to win these last two games. Didn't seem to shut it down. I can't. I don't know what else I can do. Give it another game. Nope. We're out. Win the last game of the season, but it doesn't matter. We missed the playoffs. Ah, that's part of the reason I didn't want to trade Marchment, but... Gave the younger guys a shot. That's a tough way to end the season, man. Uh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Farmer ended with 7 points in 16 games in his little stint. Plus player. It's not bad. Took 39 shots. Oh, these are playoff numbers. Uh, Darling ended with 50 points. Misa ended with 58. He didn't keep it up. I, I I had to try something. Simply wasn't getting the job done. And we miss out on the plops. 
Shirkov ended up with 36 goals. That that was well above the pace that he was on for most of the season. So he really got going towards the end. Took a shit ton of shots. Yeah, if he's if he's a if he's on the first line, he's probably a 300 plus shot guy. And if he could average around 10 to 15 percent, like he's, he's he'll be a 40 goal scorer. That's that's great. But that fucking sucks. We just that was just a really really bad end to the season. You you can't you can't put it any other way. What did we win five games? We won five games since the deadline. That can't it simply can't happen. That ratio not good enough. Power play actually dropped a bit too. Penalty kill was was bad throughout the entire year. That's part of it. But that just echoes larger defensive problems. Here's the big one. We could not win on the road. That hurts, man. Three, five, and two in the last ten. That you, that can't happen. Can't happen if you want to make the playoffs. Minnesota leapfrogged us. They they had a better end of the season. OT losses came back to bite us. Couldn't win in overtime. If we move that five to there, it comes down to how they would have beat us on goal, dif goal differential, I think. But no, we would have beat them in points. If we took five from there and put it there. Yeah, never mind. I mathed wrong. If we could have just won half of those OT games. Well, is what it is, man. We lost to the good teams. So we obviously were not quite ready for the playoffs, which really sucks. Uh, I'm still happy with the return for Marchment. But missing the playoffs really hurts. I didn't kind of want to trade him partially because of that. But at the same time, you want to get younger guys in there. That's the plan right now. Uh, but you wanted the playoffs. That's for damn sure. We'll send some guys down to the AHL. Uh, and guys probably listed as depth or lower. Farmer. I know he's listed fourth line. But he can, he can go back and get some more AHL time. Uh... I mean, technically, Darling could, but there's not that much room. Probably just send... Yeah, someone has to sit. Probably probably just make it cool shop at this point. Shift everyone else down. Riley probably to the third. Or just throw him fourth line. How do you do? Eight points in 17 games in Springfield. Not good enough. We'll throw him on the fourth line for Farmer. Anyone want to chuck in defensively? Someone can go in for Zamula, but he's actually amazing for chemistry. Pretty much just send back down Farmer. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That sucks. Chemistries have been fucking awful for Lindstein and Dickinson. All right. Yeah, no waivers. Oh, man. I really wanted the playoffs. That is a heartbreaking end of the season, but we weren't ready, clearly. If we were ready, we would have made it. Uh, but the, yeah, I could just best lines my NHL, let's be honest. Pardon? I was going to the other lines. Why did you do that? I did head coach. Oh, don't tell me it fucked him up my AHL. No, I don't think so. Okay, good. Ugh, <laughs> I would have been very salty. We're going to double switch. Armor. And then in for Kuleshov is going to be... Not Shan, no. Oh, he's a center. O'Reilly. He could maybe take the place of Patterson, actually. Because we're favoring O'Reilly now over him. Oh, we lose Kem. Really? Ah! Never mind. Favor him over Keskimeki. Because he's, I mean, he's a playmaker. He's great and all, but... Maybe we can put him up instead of Twominen. Oh, no, Twominen's a playmaker as well. 
Robertson's at sniper. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. We'll have that as our third line. It's a pretty dominant third line with Bluger centering. <laughs> that is quite dominant. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Got to make sure Farmer's back. Yeah, power. Oh my god, the power plays. Chemistry is just so bad. I don't know why it's a minus two. Like, yeah, it shouldn't be a plus, but... It's kind of odd that it's a minus two. Is it really that bad? Good god. Whatever. I got the guys playing there that I want, so fuck it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I can't really change it. All right, well, that's going to be our AHL setup for the playoffs. Farmer back in there to get to finish out his season. He didn't do great in the playoffs last season, but we want him to have that experience. Uh, sorry, he did okay in the playoffs last season. Uh, was doing pretty damn good in the uh, 47 points in 52 games uh, at his call-up. So there you go. HL still have some regular season time left as well. What's their record? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dominant is what their record is. All right, let's 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 do the end of the season stats. Did I see our... Yeah, we didn't do this screen. So forward-wise, Thomas had 80 points. Steep fall off. Cairo 67. Formington had 60. Shirakov 59, but 36 goals. Misa 58. He kind of fell off a lot. I did move him down, but yeah. Darling had 50. Bolduc had 50. Ott had 38. Dvorsky 30. Goodrow 26. Neighbors 23. And Shen was solid in a backup role. Defensively, Tucker ended with 37 points. He's going to be a pretty decent two-way guy. Um, yikes. But Dostal, despite the record, was quite good. Got injured a lot, which I wasn't happy about, but a 9-13 is pretty good. Uh, Jarenko, he had the points I wanted out of him, 31 and 31. And considering he had to do a lot of starts, too, he did, he did just fine, I think. With a 908. Uh, actually, one thing I want to do. Shirakov. How much do you hit? You have massive aggressiveness. 164. Yeah, he hits a pretty fucking good chunk. Good. I was hoping that he actually would. And, like... Mate, you could even argue he should hit more. He's got 97 aggressiveness, 95 body checking. Takes a lot of penalties for it. Doesn't fight, so yeah, he does take some penalties for it. But, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Got it, maybe a smaller price to pay at the end of all things. We got to get a better penalty kill, that's for sure, though. <laughs> all right, let's see the entire Bushnevich. Wow. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Holy shit. What a player he turned out to be for him, huh? Good god. Good on you, Pavel. So hey, we we gave we gave uh, Washington an eventual Art Trophy Art Ross guy. <laughs> 50 goals, Matthews 119 points, Kucherov 118, Nylander point. There's McDavid with over 100. And then the other, the other Connor Mick, with 111 Capitals though. Capitals though, Jesus, not missing a beat since the retirement of Ovi. Goal leader is indeed Matthews Tavares had 54 age. Oh, because yeah, he's now he's now a veteran. Time for him to have a couple good, amazing <laughs> point seasons. Look how many, dude, a whole screen of 50 goal scores. That is nuts. Assist leaders. Connor McMichael led with the way with 78. Who is the most clutch? <sighs> Arvidsson? I mean, it might mathematically be Lindholm, but I don't think so. I think it's Victor Arvidsson. Dude, the Capitals. Holy crap. Power play goal leader. Bushnevich with 23. He also had 40 points on the power play, which is, yeah, one ahead of McDavid. Five shorty goals for JT Miller 
and seven shorty points. He was the best player shorthanded, at least point scoring wise. And we'll check out the Selkie candidates here. Hughes is up there. And he's the only one I see right now. Oh, we gotta love the man you lag, the man you lag, the man you lag. Do you know the man you lag that gets worse through the year? Um, Hughes. <laughs> I don't see it fucking anyone else. Hughes. It's Hughes. Give it to Hughes. Fuck Stutzla. Give it to Hughes. Yeah. All right. Defensively. I uh, should go to Quinn Hughes because he's got that sweet, sweet plus minus, which we all know is the most important stat in hockey. <clears throat> and uh, Adam Fox is overrated. So Quinn Hughes for Norris. All right, goalies. End of discussion. Uh, Tristan Jari, 916. Look, Dostal was like fucking top three in save percentage. If we could just get... <laughs> Man, yeah, if we could just just get something, I don't fucking know, but something to help him. More scoring. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, looking to be a good free agency pickup so far. Oh, fuck you! Fuck. You. Play 70 games, 9-14, 35 wins. Oh, I guess he just needed a change of scenery. Alright, congrats, Hofer. I'm not gonna be super salty. Oh, you a little salty. We did trade him the year that we were gonna start to compete, so, eh, we found success. Good for him. <laughs> You know what? To be honest, he performed how we needed him to. So I shouldn't be too mad at him. We needed him to suck. But uh, value-wise, yeah, he's probably gonna... He's getting stack growth. He's jumping up. We got ripped off. Uh, it's the hill trade all over again. Uh, Michael Misa should be taking home the Calder. Although, Samu Hall. With 39 goals. Also two years younger. The way the Calder works, you might even you might give it to him, but it'll probably give it to Misa. I don't think it takes uh, age into account. Then Darling was in third, so we had two guys in the top three. Ott was actually up there in the top five, so that's actually impressive. Rookie goalies, no one really. All right, let's do the fun stats now. It's soft league. William Eklund out there, you're goddamn right. You know how much he hits in real life? It's a ton. <clears throat> uh, fights. Arbor Jack guy, Kyle Burrows, Felino, Middleton, Wolchenkov. All right, there you go. There's all the fun stats. So, we're going to check end of the season growth. And see what's coming in the draft class. See if my scouts got anything better. Shirkov grew really, really well. Tucker grew quite well, too. Considering. But yeah, Shirkov. Awareness went up more. His shot got even better. Just, yeah. And now that we know, he's probably going to be a 300-shot guy. So that's a 40-goal guy. And Dern's got even better. <laughs> he's pretty sick, man. I'm not going to lie. Very St. Louis Blues player. Yeah, he's a goal scorer, but he fucking mixes it up. Very St. Louis Blues player. Uh, Dickinson. Dude, he's so good. God, like, look how much he's morale down. I'm, we've been just trying to get that to reset. Part of the... And Lindstein's hella Oh, my God. Lindstein and Dickinson are so... So just morale down. Like, so heavily. Puck skills and aware. Okay, awareness. We need that to get up more, though, for Darling. Shot didn't go up. Defensive. Okay, his defensive awareness went up, but his offensive? Oh, it did go up a little bit. What else? Endurance and fighting skill. Okay. Uh, Misa, this should be some real growth. Puck skills, awareness, good. Defense and faceoffs, good. Okay, not bad, but he needs to have a fat jump. He need, this needs to be a big, big offseason jump here for him. Otherwise, I'm getting worried. In the system. Guy's bigger. Now 20, 64. Meh. Uh, Stanton. Low elite. Holy. 
Awareness needs to jump up. That's uh, some serious, serious growth there. <laughs> Sheesh. That is huge. Fourth round selection in the last draft. Holy. That's some pretty good development right there. Bennett Quincy, I think. Yo, he grew like a fucking weed. Oh my god. And he, he got even better since the last time we checked. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is just sick. That is sick. Kuleshov. Grew a little bit, but he's starting to look like trade bait. Albaline. Whoa. That's real good. Oh, that's real good. Dude, we had some big, big growers this season. That is real good for us. Wow. Nothing to do with skating besides endurance. That needs to definitely improve if you want. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, man. Come on, man. Keep growing. You got to make the team one year. Just one year. Be a depth piece. Uh, Twelman. 78, 22. He should be a fourth liner. Martin. Same kind of deal. Better growth. Awareness this could be slightly better, but it's not bad. Skilly did indeed grow, but yeah, he's top six ceiling at this point. Uh, you know, some fringe starter guy decided, ah, it's not that much. Uh, McGratton, though, that's some solid growth. He's got some morale up, too. Angles break away five hole. Nothing to his glove. A little bit to his stick. All right, rebound control and recover. That's good. Agility up, speed up, vision up. Good. Yeah, good growth from McGratton. Haskins grew more. He could still have top four ceiling, but he's going to have to get a... You probably want him to grow and be almost NHL ready if we want him to hit that. So more realistically, a top six guy. Not bad. Not bad growth. Springus. Yeah, not great. And a little bit from Velesi. When was he picked? Yeah, he's a second, unfortunately. Want more, more out of that. And Misa is slowing him down, but he got more since last time we checked. His more shot accuracy. Face off stayed the same, but he got some shot blocking, stick checking, endurance a bit, some aggressiveness, but nothing. Nothing to his puck skills. Yeah. We picked him up. We tried. I don't know if it's working. Farmer got a little bit of growth throughout the year. Yeah, not a whole lot, though. He needs to be a full-time NHLer next year. He needs to kill it in the NHL playoffs, get a fat jump, be ready for at least third line listed as. He should be, but mm, you never know. Who's missing? Just called the Einen. Bit unfortunate, but he's already pretty much NHL ready. We just gotta insert him. Which we should have more space. Fabro, Haig, uh, Ferraro. Those guys are all on the way out or we can move them. Yeah, he's the only one missing, really. Barlamov, kind of, sort of, but I'm not super concerned. Poise went up, nothing, okay, a little bit, <laughs> but he should jump. If he doesn't, then I'm real concerned. Then it's trade time. Because we can't keep waiting. We need more goal-scoring presence. Ormonton's a stopgap. All right, so not too bad. Not too shabby for the growers. Let's check out the draft class. Did our scouts get anything more unlocked at the end? We're still waiting on this guy, but we're not going to have a top five pick, so it really doesn't matter. Hello! We found an elite at 10. Winger Playmaker, which is obviously not my favorite. Three-year ETA, which is also not my favorite. But could be worth moving for. And we should get this guy scouted ASAP as well. Unfortunately, no medium elite steals, but we're close on Mayer. He's 20. 
Probably five-year ETA, so that's just trade value. That's the closest we got in any of those. Oof. Got some more possibilities. Big possibility here. Some others. But yeah, nothing actually confirmed. All right, we did get... Okay, maybe no medium elites. We got a center sniper back here. Weak character. But he's a steal. Oh, wow. No. Wow, there's like legit no medium top fours. Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> just, just no medium top fours? Like even close? That is nuts. Maybe they're all hovering around the medium elite area and like just not showing what they are. That's a hell of a lot of top nines that I found. Yeah, okay. Well then. Could be better, but we got one more chance to scout them all, but that is a heartbreaking end of the season, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, so draft will be in the next episode. We're right there, we're on the cusp, but the fact that we were in the first wildcard spot and dropped all the way out of the playoffs hurts a lot. But we'll see. We'll see how we can bounce back next year. We're only going to get better. That is the plus side. But we got to keep performing well. We got to get that production. Got to get those people who have the potential to fill that potential, right? And some people are making me nervous. So we'll see what happens. Hit that like button, guys. And I'll see you at the draft.